Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's another exciting time to be in God's presence once again. I'm excited and I know God has been faithful not only to me, but to you too. Praise the Lord, somebody. If you can hear me loud and clear, I want you to say thank you, Jesus. I want you to type it there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because today is the fourth day. It's like this month of March, this third month, is like we are recreating ourselves. Or we are recreating our lives and destiny. Just like in the time of old. Just like in the creation time. Today is the fourth day. Glory to God. Before we proceed on what God has for us today, I want to appreciate everyone that has connected us far from the one and is still glued and still connected to us as we connect to Jesus Christ. I want to thank and appreciate every one of you that has connected to this platform. God bless you. We're good. God bless you. When you need men, they will be readily available for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we proceed tonight, let us glorify the name of the Lord. Let us tell him, Father, you are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Jesus, you are worthy, my Savior, thou art worthy, thou alone art worthy to be praised, thou alone art worthy to be praised, thou alone art worthy to be praised. Thou alone art worthy to be praised. Jesus, you are worthy. Savior, thou art worthy. Thou alone art worthy to be praised. Oh, thou alone art worthy to be praised. Thou alone to be praised oh thou alone art worthy to be praised we've come to ascribe all the honor that is due him the very one who began the beginning before he began the god who does not con consult your past to determine your future the creator of heaven and earth the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end. The Oba calling Opomulero. That is my strong pillar in which I lean on. The solid rock on which we stand. Our shelter. Our fountain of life. The one who gives us life and peace. Ah, Father, we say thank you. It gives us life. It gives us peace. I like that song that says, Oh, Nijia, come. It's a Nibo song. Oh, Nijia, come. So give oh Ija come, oh Ija come, Jesus, you're my all in all. He's our help, our very help in present in the time of trouble, present in the time of need. Some Bible version says in time of need. He is merciful. He is faithful. He alone is worthy of our praise. He alone knows the number of the hairs on our head, and he does not permit anyone to drop except. Anyone does not drop except he alone permits them. He is the, is the shepherd of our soul. He is indeed the lily of the valley, the prince of peace. Father, we are grateful for another opportunity to come again to fellowship with you. It is the day for. Brethren, please open your mouth and give God the fruit of the lips. If you are watching me and you can hear me, please give him the fruit of your lips. Call him his beautiful name. Tell him he's wonderful. Appreciate this God that has given you an eye, the bread of life. As we are talking, some people are giving up the ghost at this very time. But it pleases him to show us mercy. The Bible says, what is man that you are mindful of him? It pleases God to spare you an eye because he loves us so. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for another day like this. Thank you for another day. Today is the day for brethren, and I'm coming to talk to you about balance. What to do to attract favor? What to do to be balanced in life? Praise the Lord, somebody. 
in life and destiny. Four signifies the number of balance. And I say God giving somebody balance in every ramification of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. God is set to do something good, not forgetting our scripture, our anchor scripture from yesterday, Exodus 19 and verses 1. I decree once again, as you are stepping out of Egypt, you will be stepping into the era of balance. The Lord will give you balance on all sides. You will not longer hear the story of God anymore in the name of Jesus. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to share. Though we are doing the work of God together by sharing. I'm preaching, you are preaching by sharing. Please reach out to somebody so that God will bless every one of us as well. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you as you do. God honor you as you do so. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we are saying, four is the symbol of balance. And the Lord wants to give someone here balance. The Lord wants to make your life balance in every storm that you are going through. God says to say to you, say, be still and know that I am God and I am here to change everything for you in the name of Jesus. Can I see somebody type amen and a louder amen in the mighty name of Jesus. Some of us can get help from our helpers, but some of them are not present. Hallelujah. Some of us, I wrote down that said, for you to be balanced, you've got to learn how to treat people right. Some of us have attained certain level, but our behavior, our attitude have made us to hook at that spot. We are not moving forward, neither are we moving back up. We are just there, stagnant. Because of our attitude, we need to learn how to treat people right. I, I, I watched a, a, a story of a, a young a young boy who who was into um, was selling bread now he was a, he was selling the bread and for that day he had not sold anything and the the market people the trader that he had beside him they, they were threatening him that and one of them came to him and said see you will not sell anything until i say so and it went on throughout that day he did not sell anything. And then this little boy came. Of course, he was hungry. He had no help. He was looking tattered, undressed. And he looked at this man. He said, can I have something to eat? The man looked at the boy and gave him one of the bread that he should have sold. He said, after all, he just looked at it that uh, this is humanity. Let me show help. Let me show kindness to him. And decided to give this boy the bread to eat. The boy ate the bread and was very happy. On his way home, on his way home, he saw two coppers that was looking for to how to buy up. Uh, they were looking for bread. They said they've been in that town and they've not seen bread for a while. And that little boy directed them to that shop of the man who helped him, who saw his need, who gave him to eat when he was hungry. And you know, when they got there, they said, wow, we've not seen bread in this town since we moved into this and Therefore, we are going to chatter the whole bread that you have. While others were back on it, they said, no, I don't know what it is about you. And they bought the whole bread from that guy's shop. Now, let us rewind back. Let us take a look back. Let us rephrase. What if that man had not treated that boy or showed that boy kindness? Would he have been able to sell his bread? No. So in life and destiny, as we ascend in the scale of life, we need to learn how to treat people right. Hallelujah. We need to learn, for in order for us to attain balance, we need to learn how to treat people right. My God, we need to learn how to cultivate the attitude, the right attitude towards your fellow brethren. Hallelujah. One of God once said, pray the prayer. He said, Lord, if I am the problem of myself, deliver me. A lot of us, we are too egocentric. We don't even know that we are the cause of our problem. We are too ego-filled. We want our ego to be filled all the time. And we, we fail to realize that we are stepping out of boundary. We are stepping out of the cause that God has created for us. Hallelujah. We all need deliverance at certain points in time. Hallelujah. If I am the problem of myself, oh Lord, deliver me. 
Let me tell you something. They cry for help. You know, we talked about the cry for help yesterday. I said we should ask God, and Father, help me. They cry for help. It is not a prayer for the weak. Hallelujah. They cry for help. It's not a prayer for the weak because there is no made success. Success does not suddenly just come. You need a man at some point to help you. You need king's maker to create you and crown you as a king. You cannot just go and make yourself a king. And in life and destiny, you cannot afford to collaborate with your enemy in the court of life. You cannot afford otherwise you will give him or her the opportunity to have access to your weakness and when they have access to your weakness you know what they envy in fact you are the one that will judge yourself you cannot afford to begin to collaborate with your enemy at this point of time in life and destiny in the life in the court of life you cannot afford to do that god is has not gone on leave god is still very active in his duty in other words in order for you to attract help you need to cry out for help you need to call out for help i've told you once again and i repeat myself the cry for help in prayer it is not a prayer for the weaker it is not for you to have content it is not enough for you to have content how do you serve the content that you have in the inside of you if you say you have content you have things to dish out how do you dish it out how do you serve the content of what you are carrying there is no sudden sources anywhere there is a place for wisdom there is a time to speak and there is a time to keep quiet how do you serve your content that is the question i want to ask every every one of us that is watching tonight please don't forget to hit the like button okay now a dish you can dish your dish can be your mouth if you want to serve the content of what you have a lot of us are too bad mattered and you can say something wrong in front of somebody that is in position to help you you have to cultivate the habit of not despising anyone that is around you just imagine if the 12 disciples have despised the little boy with the five loaves of bread and two fishes that means if five thousand people would have gone hungry so you have to learn how to talk you have to learn how to use your mouth at certain points in life uh, some of us uh, the reason we have problem in our marriages uh, is because some of us we don't know how to talk uh, we don't know when to talk uh, we serve our, our husbands uh, rubbish dishes uh, instead of us to be serving with lovely dishes uh, something that we elevate him and put him as a position of a king uh, we begin to dish out things talk to him anyhow disgrace him outside talk to his mother anyhow and of course uh, he will forget the content of Christianity and begin to land that person slap left, right, and center. And before you begin to realize that, okay, this is what is going on. Hallelujah. That will not be a portion. That will not be my portion in the name of Jesus. What are we talking about? What are we going to do to attract help? And we are dealing with our attitude first of all. We are still going to pray tonight, but I need to let you know that these are certain things we need to clear. We need to clear the air. I used to tell my husband all the time, I said, common sense is not common, only when applied. There are certain things you cannot tell me that if you are having a headache, for instance, and you are supposed to take just a panadol, you decide to keep yourself and say, okay, because you know that this is the right thing to do. You decide not to do anything about it. You will keep having that headache until it gets worse. When you should have just taken a little panadol that will solve the whole issue and rest and water, enough water for your system. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the people you see the, before, the people, the people that you can see, they are in position to help you. People see you before they can hear you. People see you before they can reach out to you. And the way you present yourself matters a lot so you have to be careful the way you treat people if you want to attain balance in life and destiny when you are in the picture you cannot see the frame hallelujah hope somebody's understanding me when you are in the picture you cannot see the frame therefore do not 
drown those, the people that taught you how to swim. Do not associate yourself with the zebras of life and begin to run down people's lives and destiny because tomorrow it might be your turn. Let us learn to appreciate people that are around us. When somebody have a testimony around, it only means that Jesus is still in the neighborhood and he can reach out to you. You don't have to drown yourself in, in, in depression that God has not answered you yet or in jealousy. The Bible says jealousy is synonymous to witchcraft. And I'm sure none of us want to be... be uh, uh, um, ascribed or likened to what witchcraft hallelujah the bible says in psalm 46 verse 1 it said god is our refuge and our strength it's a, a very present help in time of trouble so i said it before i said some people are present but they cannot help some are absent but they can help but god is everly presently present to help you i want somebody to type god help me somebody type it i want to see on the screen god help me god help me it only takes the uh, god to help you for man to reach out to you let me tell you something if god must help you he has to use a man and if satan must get to you he will also use a man to get to you everyone has a means but you need the help of god ha huh. there are different kinds of help but I want to major on the timely help of God. That is why the psalmist tells us that, oh, that you will satisfy me early. We need the early help of God for us to be able to attain that help, for able to attain that favor, for us to be able to attain that balance in life and destiny. Some help, like I said, are present, but they cannot help. But some can, but they are not present. But God is everly present. May the Lord send you help on time in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord send you help on time in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to pray one prayer quickly. You are going to say, Lord, in this month of March, send me help on time. Send me help on time. I remember my pastor, he used to, he used to say something. He said, God, help me on time. So that I will not become stingy to help others. Help me on time. When God helps you on time, and one of God once said, He said that the five virgins who did not have oil in their lamp, it was not as if they were foolish. It's because the master delayed, because their help did not come on time. I am sure if the master came right on time, he would have picked the ten virgins at the same time. So, where at the same time we are still going to channel us and say, Father, help me. In this month of March, I want to attain balance. Father, help me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, help me. Cry out wherever you are watching me from. Father, help me. In the mighty name of Jesus, we serve a God who does not consult your past to determine your future. Therefore, you have to cry out to him and say, Father, help me. Help me. Help me, oh God, I need your help. I need your help in life and destiny. My children need your help in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Our second prayer point we are going to pray tonight is going to be, my father, my father, every garment of shame and infirmity that the enemy has pre preferred for me in this month of March, catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every garment of infirmity and shame in this month of balance, I will not see shame, I will not know shame, I will not smell shame. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, help me, oh God, every garment that the enemy has prepared for me, garment of shame. Garment of infirmity, balatoko shananamatoko shata. In the name of Jesus, catch fire. The trend nowadays, people will just tell you, I have a slight headache. Oh, I need to rest. And from there, you hear there are no more. There are hidden sicknesses in their body, hidden infirmities, waiting to manifest. That is the trend Satan is going. It is not the era of before that you will know that somebody is sick for a long time. These days, you don't even have anything. You just hear, oh, 
Nothing went wrong, or he just went to the hospital by himself, and the next day he's no more. That will not be your portion. That will not be my portion in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to uh, we are going to pray this prayer. We say, Oh God, arise. Release my blood blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Every blessing that I need to attain balance in this month, which is the fourth day. Oh God, release my blood blessings. Open your mouth wherever you are watching me from. My father, my father, release my blood blessings. Ekonda leko pa ne katana na ragado shakatani. Relebo kosolo batolo brage tolo sokolo bagala bale gada 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 gada. Rendo kosha tali broko tali banana na na. Every of my blood blessings. My father, release them in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, release them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every of my blood blessing, I release them in the name of Jesus. I release them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Before a movie is released, scripts are written. Kabbalah Shatter. Before a movie is released or a soap opera, scripts are written. We are going to tell God, Lord. Every handwriting of the wicked against my balance in this month of March expire. I erase it by the blood of Jesus. I erase it by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, every handwriting that was written against me. Nendelate, Ralabato, Kosi Katega, Imanda Koma Netosa, In Naragata Katosa, Leto Koma Nekosa, Leto Kosi Katalesa, Ralade, Imaragadosa, Kato, and Delekosaha. The Bible says that in Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14, it's a blotting hand, the handwriting of an ordinance that was against us, which was contrary to us. That he took it out of our way, nailing it to the cross. Jesus has already nailed it to the cross. Therefore, every script written against you, against your sources, against your life and destiny, we abolish it by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we abolish it by the blood of Jesus. And the we abolish it by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We abolish it in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to pray an important prayer. Wherever you are watching me from, as you have shared, I want you to place your hand on your head. And you are going to say, my head, my head. Reject shame and favor in the mighty name of Jesus. My head, my head. Reject shame in this month of March. In this month, the third month of March, where I will attain my balance. My head, reject shame. Reject failure. In the mighty name of Jesus, man de kota le kota le, rala ba de kosa na 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 da he kala nasa. I konda da da de kopa le kosa sa 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 de kosa la, rala ba la da 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 da. I kota kada ba kada li kada kada, el le koto kopa le, rana kosi kabala la ba. Ezekiel chapter three verse eight, brother, hear me. The Bible says, "Behold, I have made thy face uh, to be stronger than their face, uh, and thy forehead to be stronger against their forehead." Uh, which means, uh, your head uh, will no longer agree to evil forces. Uh, your head uh, will no longer agree to evil summoners. Uh, Do you know what happened? Uh, I was watching a movie, uh, and I saw that when a man is very weak. 
That is when the enemy strikes. They cannot come and strike you when you are on fire for God. When your prayer life is still on. No, they dare not come near because they will be scorched by the fire. They come at your weakest hour. When you feel the zeal not to pray, when you feel you are tired, or when you feel that you are prayed enough, the Bible says, Men always not all to men always ought to pray and not to faint. Which means that if you are tired, you pray. If you are happy, you pray. When you are sad, you pray. The Bible says in Thessalonians 5 17, it says, Pray without ceasing. Prayer is a continuous constant. You have to continue to pray no matter what the situation will present before you are. No matter how weak or how sound you can, you are sounding to feel. No matter what your environment is telling you, you have to continue to pray. Prayer is what a treasure that you store up in the bank. But in a day of trouble, it comes out to stand in the gap for you. No prayer is wasted. Brethren, that is why I'm encouraging you to pray. We are going to repeat that prayer again. My head, my head. In this month of March 2022, reject shame, reject evil, reject failure, reject shame, reject evil, reject failure. Open your mouth. I reject failure for the room of prayer ministry and the people. I reject failure for my husband. I reject shame. And they call Nalaba Telecom I reject shame in the mighty name of Jesus. I reject shame in the name of Jesus. According to Ezekiel, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7, it says, Who is he that declared a thing when the Lord has not commanded it to be so? For it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. I decree by the decree of the watchers. Anyone preparing the garment of shame and failure for you tonight, I say they expire in the mighty name of Jesus. They expire in the name of Jesus. They expire in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. It is important to cry for help. I like that evil song that says, Oh, in your camp. He said, My help, my helper, help me. He said, When I run to you, you are always there to help me timely. I have no strength where I run to. But it is only you that I run to and I am saved. Help me, help me, help me. Jesus, you are my all in all. I don't know if you know that song, but. When I sing that song, I don't know. I am drawn spiritually. I am I am drawn like God. I have nobody else but you. Oh yeah, come. Oh yeah, come. So give oh yeah, come. Oh yeah, come. Jesus, you're my all in all. Dike a parabia, a coco du boro, izuboraza, e bemba bamo, o kumbora go, Jesus, my all in all. You're my foundation, my protection, my atmosphere, my sweet perfume. In you I live and have my being. Jesus, my all in all, in you I live and have my peace. Jesus, my all in all. Oh, ye are come, oh, ye are come, so give oh, ye are come, oh, ye are come, Jesus. All in all. I want you to pray this prayer again. I'm going to say, my father, my father, every good thing that belongs to me that is still in the valley of witchcraft, Kabbalah to Kushaya, come out by fire. Come out by fire. Every good thing, every of my expectation, 
at the wedding gown, they conjure the babies that are still in the valley of witchcraft. And Copa Taliaco Shanate, come out in the name of Jesus, come out by fire, come out by fire, come out by fire in the mighty name of Jesus, come out by fire, Manana Mato Shata. Every value of me, every value, every of my belongings uh, that is still in the valley of which uh, manga to kata na no shale balada konja na 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 sha ikota lebo koma na na no shale rala bakonja te kota la baregosha. Every of my belongings that is still in the valley of which uh, in the name of Jesus, come out in the name of Jesus. Uh, Come out in the name of Jesus. Badako Shanana Matalia. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you are watching me, I want you to begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon your genuine loved ones. Man de Koshata. I don't just plead the blood of just upon everybody around me. No. I will say my genuine loved ones. Because really, you don't know what is in the heart of your next neighbor. You don't even know what they are thinking about you. You have to, I told you that this month is a very sensitive month. Gone are the days where people hide under your grace to afflict you. You know, it's when somebody is hiding under your grace, you can hardly see them because you are the one carrying the lamp. You cannot see yourself. You are the one giving life to others. So therefore, they see everything that surrounds you, but you cannot see yourself. That was that at a point, Elijah said, the Lord has not shown me this one. And over Katashuya, when that woman cried to him that the son that I have, the only son I have is dead. And he cried, I said, the Lord has not shown me this one. A prophet cannot see himself. It is we that are around him that will tell him, man of God, this is what is going on. So likewise, you, you are a carrier of light. You are a carrier of the light of unity of God. Therefore, you cannot see yourself, but you are very bright, gleamly, gleamly bright to your enemies. They can see you. And it is easy for them to know each time you fall out of grace. Malama Shata. You are going to pray this prayer. I say, Lord, any hidden sickness in my body waiting to manifest, die to your roots in the mighty name of Jesus. Die to your roots. Any hidden sickness in my body waiting to manifest, die to your root in the mighty name of Jesus. Die to your root in this month of March. I decree I will not be sick. Echo Shanana Nasota. My children will not be sick. My husband will not be sick. Begin to pray for your loved one. This is the hour where we begin to decree and declare. Because I told you yesterday, the power of life and death lies in your mouth. Now I want you to begin to decree and declare what you want to see. Each time I come up life here on air, I will always tell you to use your mouth uh, excuse me and say what how you want to see this month of matcha uh, you begin to open your mouth and begin to decree unto yourself see this month of matcha uh, i will know no sorrow they will not pull skippers at my door to mourn or to greet me sorry hey in this month of matcha uh, hey palabra pushata it will not bring me sorrow it will not bring me tears this month of March 2022 will not take my life. It will not take the life of my children. It will not take the life of this ministry. It will not take the life of everyone watching me tonight. Men then less shadana. This month I decree and I declare. All shall be well with me. I acquire peace on all sides. Uh, by all means, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, everything is working together for my good. Uh, whatever you want to see, I want you to begin to type it. Man de ko shane balato ko shana. Rele ko shiko taneda. Rala brakwa le ko sha. Ikonda le ko panena broko zanea. Ranesha. Le de boloko soto li katoja. Whatever you want to see uh, in this month of matter, uh, I want you to begin to decree and begin to say to yourself, uh, 
thy feet, thy feet, uh, so that God Himself can bear you weakness. Man great Jaleba Tekosha in Dopalagada. This month uh, I will excel on all sides uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the Lord will send me help on all sides uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I see Judy Chi when you say that in this month of March uh, you will have financial breakthrough and I decree by the decree of the watchers uh, that the Lord will back you up uh, in this month of March. Uh, you will not know lack uh, because it's a month of help. Uh, I said the Lord will send you timely help uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray I can see mommy you can bow he said, in this month for you and your genuine loved ones. Uh, he said you will never know sorrow. So shall it be uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Meko Nanashana, I decree and I declare, affliction will not arise again uh, in the name of Jesus. In your family, you will stand out. Uh, men de balako shanaya. Even your grandchildren, they will look at you and say, Lord, I thank you because you prayed created somebody like mommy you can in this family in the mighty name of jesus you are blessed you cannot be less than the rest may the lord favor you on all sides in the name of jesus you are too blessed to be stressed in the name of jesus amongst your colleagues you 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 that you are watching me you will be the preferred in the mighty name of jesus as you have decreed the lord will back you up in the mighty name of jesus as many of you that Tight and I did not see what you typed. Uh, may the Lord answer you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, we good man of God. The people are waiting. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Our God reigns. Thank you, Lord. Good evening, everybody. God bless you all. I want to especially appreciate the woman of God that has been on since over 35 minutes. I pray the Lord God will increase you on all sides in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody, just wherever you are, just begin to thank the Lord for yet another day. This is the fourth day. You have seen the fourth day not because you are perfect. You are seeing the fourth day because God has showed you mercy. I want you to just say, Lord, show me mercy tonight. Amen. Wherever you are watching me from, go ahead and type. He said, Lord, show me mercy. Lord, show, show me mercy. Lord, show me mercy. Wherever you are watching me from, it doesn't matter. Distance can be the hindrance. So go ahead and type and say, Lord, show me mercy. Lord, show me mercy. Lord, show me mercy. Lord, show me mercy. God of mercy and compassion, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Father, we thank you. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me call the Father. Let this child return to thee. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me call the Father. Grace not to sin again. Jesus, love, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain. All I sins are now the test them. Grace to not to see again. Daily as I live, 
awfulness I breathe. Let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Daily as I live, and awful as I breathe, let my whole life be expressions of your grace. We cry, we cry, we cry about Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, we cry, we cry about Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Oh, ye yaka. Oh, ye yaka. Sagibo ye yaka. Jesus, you're my only no. Oniyaka, Oniyaka, Sogi Boniyaka, Oniyaka, Jesus, you're my. Oh, Thank you, Lord. We bless your name, our helper. When you help men, men are helped. When you help men, men are helped. When you rescue men, men are rescued. When you provide for men, men are provided for. When you deliver men, men are delivered. When you rescue, men are rescued. My father, merciful God, Thank you, Lord. Somebody say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, cause my glory, cause my glory to react. To react. Shakatamba daba. Listen to me. When your glory reacts, wherever it is, it wakes up. Let there be a reaction. All heaven needed was a reaction from John the Baptist. Because John the Baptist refused to react, heaven did not act. When you act, heaven reacts. When you refuse to react, heaven will not act. A lot of people are saying, how can someone that cleared the road for Jesus, how can someone that foretell the coming of Jesus, how can someone that acknowledge this is Jesus, Died cheaply. Let me tell you one of the reasons. It is because John the Baptist refused to react. The Bible said he had the double portion of Elijah's anointing. So that is to say, John the Baptist was greater than John the than Elijah. But when they came to arrest Elijah, Elijah reacted. When they came to arrest him, he reacted. Even when they came to arrest Elisha, he reacted. He am a child of God. If you are too gentle, you will not settle. If you are too quiet in destiny, you will end up in the asylum. I want to say this tonight. There are people your glory needs to react where it is. There are some of you, your glory has been dormant for too long. But in tonight's meeting, I prophesy your 
glory will react. I say your glory will react. I say your glory will react. When chemicals are put together, and there must be a reaction. That is why it's called chemical reaction. When you and the glory is not working together there is no way there can be a reaction but i pray for someone tonight i don't know who i'm talking to i see your glory react from where they have kept you i see your glory react from where they have covered you i see your glory push out where they have kept you the lord is showing me a revelation right now god is showing me a revelation and what is the revelation I see someone like a ball. This is how I'm seeing the revelation. And there's a pool of water in a bucket. Try it at home. No matter how you push the ball inside, it comes up back. No matter how you push the ball, as long as there's water in it, it will bounce back. Kimonte Palepaka, somebody type, I am bouncing back. Say, I am bouncing back. I don't know where they have kept you, but you are coming out from that place. Your glory is shooting out back. Your glory is appearing back. Say, I am coming back. I am coming back. I am coming back. I don't know where they have, they, they, how they, are. you are bouncing back. You are bouncing back. You are coming back. You are bouncing back. Listen to me. The more you push the ball down, the ball allows you to push it down. But it does not allow to stay down. So when you stay down, it is because you allowed it. There are some of you today, you don't have what to do. It's because you stay down there, not to do anything. It is time to react. So that heaven can act on your people. He am a child of God. You are bouncing back. No matter how much you push the ball, the ball will tell you I'm coming back. No matter how they push you, you will come back. Amen. No matter how the devil hits you, you will come back. Amen. You will bounce back. Amen. Listen to me. Those challenges is to bring out the champion in you. Those battles is to bring out the mantle in you. Elijah never knew he could pack Jordan until he, he handled the mantle. When the mantle comes, you bounce back to whatever that pushed you down. Your, oh my God. The Bible said, rejoice not over me, all my enemies, when I fall. That I fall today does not mean you should laugh at me today. You may laugh at me today, my tomorrow, you may see me stand on your head. Be careful. Be careful. Listen to me, wherever you are watching me from. You are bouncing back. Amen. I don't know what you've lost. I say you are bouncing back. Amen. I don't know that which you have lost. I see the Almighty God opening my eyes to see. I am seeing this ball. I'm seeing this ball. And listen to this. Look at look at what I see. Look at what I see. Look at what I see in the spirit. I'm seeing names on this football. I'm seeing names on this football. I'm seeing some names on the ball. And the more the devil push the ball down in the waters of life, I see you come back. My God. If I, if I say this, I think I can just share the grace. Listen, there are people's glory that must shine back. There are glories that must come out of where they kept them. There are so many glories that are covered with the canopy of shame. There are glories that are loaded with troubles. There are people anywhere they go, they, 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 they suffer trouble. They suffer losses. I pray for somebody. Every name on that ball. The Lord have me to say this. Every push you have suffered. Every 
push you have suffered, be it health wise, be it financially, every push you have suffered, every push you have suffered, by the mercies of God, you are bouncing back. I say you are bouncing back. Just tap it, I am bouncing back. We are my partners. We are my 10, 10, 10 partners. Go ahead and share 10 times. Go ahead and share 10 times. I'm telling you tonight is another night. Is another night you should not joke with. I tell you, is a night you should not joke with. My 10, 10 partners, where are you? Come on, go ahead. Let's begin to share. Share 10 times. Share 10 times. And indicate I have shared. God bless you, Harry Matthews. You are bouncing back. Harry Matthews, you are bouncing back. Mm -hmm. Harry Matthew, you are bouncing back. Mm -hmm. You are bouncing back. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I just heard this now in my ears. Somebody type it, I'm bouncing back and better. Mm. Oh God, if you have lost a job before now, get ready. Another job is bouncing back and it's a better one. Oh my God, I'm bouncing back and better. Even in your health, God bless you. So, so Rom, to Chuku. Okay, God bless you. Um, your fiance was talking to me. I didn't know it was you, even. It was your fiance that told me you are the one. God bless you, sir. Thank you. I decree in that office of yours. May God do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Amen. I pray for you, KK Chuku, in the name of Jesus. God will fight your secret battles and give you a public testimony. Amen. Hold this word I just said to you now. Chuku KK. God will fight your secret battles and give you a public testimony. Amen. Somebody use it as a prayer point. What I say to, to him, I say to everybody. May God give you a testimony. I am a cobra. Thank you, Lord. Somebody, I don't know, somebody is watching me now. You have been looked down on for too long. You are bouncing back. Amen. I say you are bouncing back. Amen. In that family, they've quieted you for too long. I say you are bouncing back. Amen. I say you are bouncing back. Amen. I say you are bouncing back. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In that office, they have looked down on your position for too long. I say you are bouncing back. Amen. I need to be better. Amen. I say to be better. Amen. I say to be better. Amen. I say to be better. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Everybody go ahead and begin to share. Online manner, God bless you. Everybody share. Tonight is very important. All right. Tonight is very important. I'm going to do my best to close earlier today by the grace of God. Yesterday, I took so much of our time. I believe it was worth it. And I believe tonight is going to be more powerful to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Please go ahead and share the broadcast. I want everybody to share 10 times each. Everybody share 10, 10 times. Invite somebody. Invite somebody. Thank you, my father. Oh, precious Jesus. Hallelujah. Second Kings chapter number four, verses one to seven. Second Kings Chapter number four, verses one to seven. Hallelujah. God bless you, Judith, Chiwendu, and Yaso. God bless you. Thank you for sharing. May God cause you to bounce back. Um, this time it will be better. God will cause you to bounce back, and this time it will be better. That's a prayer for those of you sharing 10, 10 times today. Please go ahead and share 10 times. All your group, all your um, uh, all the group you have joined on, uh, on Facebook, share the broadcast. Share it on your status. Share it on your timeline. Let everybody see it shared. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Second Kings chapter number four, verses one to seven. Now there cried a certain woman. Of the wives of the sons of the prophet unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that, that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor come to take 
unto him, my sons, to the bondmen. Verse 2. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in thy house? And she said, The handmaid hath not, not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door unto thee and upon thy sons, and thou and shalt pour out into those vessels that thou set, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. Verse 5. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured out and it came to pass when the vessels were full that she cried and so she said unto her son bring me yet a vessel and had and he said unto her there is not vessel more and the oil stayed hallelujah verse seven the last then she came and told the man of god she came Please listen to this. The Bible says she came back. She came back. She came and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil and pay thy debt and leave thou and thy children of the rest. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name. Thank you for your word. Your word is yea and amen. Your word is not yea and maybe. Your word is yea and amen. Lord, I ask tonight that you throw your weight around and prove to your children's situation you remain the Lord and Master. Let someone's glory be reawakened tonight. Let there be a reaction. Let somebody bounce back. Let somebody come back from wherever life has thrown them to. I decree tonight, God, we glorify his name in your life as you listen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Listen to me. God bless you, Allah Emmanuel. I decree you will bounce back and it will be better. God bless you. Everybody, 10, 10. Share 10 times. Share 10 times. Now, look at this. Matthew chapter number 8, verse 8. Matthew 8, 8. Matthew 8, 8. Then the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only. Underline that part. Speak the word only. Tonight, speak the word only, Lord. Thy servant hear it. Speak thy word only, Lord. Thy servant hear it. Now, why did I read this scripture, Matthew chapter 8, verse 8? Because the word of God is going to come to you as hammer and as fire tonight. You need to understand the Bible said the word of God is quicker. So it's quicker to the piercing and to the cousin asunder. So I want you to understand tonight the word of God is going to come to you hard. It's going to come to you sweet. It's going to come to you bitter. There are certain things I'm going to be saying tonight. It may hurt you, but it will help you. There are times God can send a prophet to warn his people. There are times God can send his prophet to warn certain people. And tonight is a night like that. Where we read from? We read of a story of a man that he borrowed and borrowed unto the extent, or to the extent he died a debtor. My topic tonight is restoration through obedience. Restoration through obedience. Restoration through obedience. Hallelujah. There are people today 
that their glory has been swallowed, summarized, and taken from them. Why? Because of disobedience. One thing that fights glory is disobedience. Disobedience. The topic I repeated again, restoration through obedience. Hallelujah. So you need to understand. Let me tell you certain things. When glories are tampered with, these things will be for people. Because I'm going to be saying some now, some of you, your case will be mentioned now. When glory is tampered with, destruction sets in. When glory is tampered with, destruction is sets in. When glory is tampered with, tears is inevitable. When glory is hidden, generations are kept in darkness. I am Akuba. Hey, can I repeat that? When glory is hidden, generations are kept in darkness. In the book of First Samuel, chapter number 4, verse 21, it talks about a woman that cried at childbirth and called the child's name Ichabod. While she was giving birth, she cried out Ichabod. Now, what is the meaning of Ichabod? Ichabod means glory departed. There are some people watching me now. The Lord help me to say this. Uh, there are witches crying Ichabod in your family. Uh. There are witches that have cried Ichabod to your family. There are powers that have cried in to the family. That is why you notice on first bonds, no matter what they do, they look like last bonds. Why? In Cabot has been cried into it. And she named the child in Cabot, saying the glory is departed from Israel. Who is Israel? We are the Israel of this generation now. So I want to use this scripture to prophesy on the first 30 people that can share this broadcast. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Ghost. Anyone that has cried in Kaboda into your household, I say back to the sender. Anyone that has cried in Kaboda into your children's life that has made the glory of their life depart, Tonight, I said back to the sender. I don't know who I am talking to tonight. There are some ministries, some women, some men have come together and cried against the ministry. I don't know who has cried against your ministry. I don't know who has cried and made pronouncement in tears uh, that has made those pronouncements uh, and you are suffering from Ichabod. Uh, but tonight, uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, anyone cry Ichabod uh, into your business, uh, into your life, uh, into your destiny, I say back to the sender. Somebody type it, back to the sender. Back to the sender. He am a child of God. There are people you need to understand. Their assignment is to cause pain. Their assignment is to cause chaos. Their assignment is to cause trouble. There are people like that in your family. But I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. Anyone crying against your glory. Anyone crying against your glory. I say back to the sender. Anyone crying against the glory of your younger ones, of your nephew, of your niece, that are genuine, I decree tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost, I say back to the sender, 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 everybody share 10 times and acknowledge you have shared 10 times because you are bouncing. 
him back. Your glory is returning back. Who has cried against your glory? Who has cried against the glory of the settlement? Who has cried against the glory of your visa? Who has cried against the glory of your, your, your documents? Who has cried against the glory of your name? Who has cried against the glory of your settlement? He am the child of God. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I say back to the sender. I say back to the sender. Yeah, me child of God. When the woman called Rachel was about to die, and she opened her mouth and called the name of the child Benoni, and suddenly the father called Jacob, who was later called Israel, said, Not so. It changed the name to Benjamin. I don't know. The Holy Ghost is telling me something. There are people, your name is working against you. It copan like at all. Every name working against you. May God give you a new name tonight. I said, God will give you a new name tonight. I said, God will give you a new name tonight. I said, God will give you a new name tonight. Harry Matthews, you have shared ten times. I prophesy on you. You are bouncing back and better. You are bouncing back and better. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I feel the Holy Ghost in this house. By the power and the unction of the Holy Ghost, I make a pronouncement. I make a pronouncement tonight. Any woman, every stepmother, every stepsister, every sister-in-law, every witch that has cried against your destiny, I say back to the sender. I say back to the sender. There are many today. Uh, they are not enjoying the fullness of their glory uh, because someone has cried against them. Uh, someone cried against them. Uh, but tonight, uh, whoever that has cried against you, uh, Matopayata, I decree uh, that yes, we return to them. Uh, that yes, we return to them. Uh, that yes, we return to them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. When glory departs, that generation is in trouble and chaos. There are some of you today, anything you put hand in, is like somebody is monitoring you. In fact, you know it's not going to work. Oh my God. Every Every satanic assurance that the devil has given to you before now to tell you that whatever you are doing is not going to work. I say back to the sender. What you are doing, what you want to do is going to work better this time around. Hallelujah. When glory departs, I said that generation is in trouble and chaos. Glory is the actual beauty of every individual. Glory is the actual beauty of every individual. Now, let me say this to you. When people that don't know you begin to entrust things to you, it is a glory that has come upon you. When people that don't know you are blessing you, it's a glory that they have seen. It is the glory of God that makes them do what they do. Cheesy Bridget, God bless you, daughter. May God, you are bouncing back, cheesy bitch. And this time, you are bouncing back and better. You are bouncing back and better. In the name of Jesus. The glory of what you do is the beauty of what you are doing. Hallelujah. The man is the head of the home. And his glory and sorry, he's also the glory carrier of that home. Every man is the head of the home and is the glory carrier of that home. That's why when a man dies, the glory of the family is naked. When a man dies, the glory of the family is what? Naked. There are in-laws that could not talk to their wife before or talk to the children before that will begin to fight them. Why? Because their glory has been exposed. Their glory is dead. When their glory is dead, 
people come like vulture to feed on the family, to feast on the family. There are many families today that are suffering. Why? Because the glory carrier is no more. Now, brothers, uncles, aunties are now fighting them. Why? The glory carrier has taken out. I pray for someone today. Your husband will not suddenly die. I say your husband will not suddenly die. The glory carrier will not suddenly die. Your firstborn will not suddenly die. The glory carrier in the family will not suddenly die. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of 2 Kings, chapter number 4, verses 1 to 7, where we read from. The woman cried to the man of God that the glory of the family is dead. And not just dead, died in shame. There are certain fathers today, they died and left problems for their children. If there's one thing I always pray, I don't want to leave problem for my wife. I don't want to leave problem for my children. I don't want to leave problem for anybody. I don't want to. The greatest undoing of many people is that they die and leave problem. I pray for you today. No one will die and leave problems for you. Hey, I don't know who I'm praying this prayer for. No one will die and leave problems for you. I said, no one will die and leave problems for you. I said, no one will die and leave problems for you. I said, nobody will die and leave problems for you. In the name of Jesus, where there is no glory, shame is present. Where there is no glory, shame is present. Please share 10 times. Everybody is an instruction. Share 10 times. The Lord will bless you. Where there is no glory, shame is present. When you keep going through repeated shame, repeated disgrace, repeated reproach, know that your glory has been tampered with. Because glory is what swallows stories. Glory is what swallows stories. When the glory of God is upon a man or a woman, it swallows the stories that should happen to that man or woman. I see the God that restores glory visiting you through your faith tonight. I see as you have faith in him, God will visit you with his glory. Hallelujah. It does not matter how you lost it. The mercies of God are, is available tonight. And your glory will be restored. I pray for somebody. I pray for somebody. God bless you, Auntie Yuke Bao. May your bounce back, shock and surprise. Everyone that have castigated you or spoken against you, and UK, may your bounce back be the bouncing bag of angels. May your bounce back be better. May your bounce back be the best. In the name of Jesus. Kopayata. Shalamata. I don't know who I'm praying this prayer for. They will not die. Nobody will die around you and leave trouble for you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Who, who, who am I praying this prayer for? I said, no one body will die. Nobody will die and leave problems for you. I said, nobody will die and leave problems for you. I said, nobody will die and leave problems for you. I said, nobody will die and leave problems for you. I said, nobody will die and leave problems for you. I said, nobody will die and leave problems for you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Pala Makobayada, Shaka Paloba, Zekopalati, Ratea Kabana. 
I said, nobody will die and live problems for you. Ah, yeah, yeah. Nah, man, nah, man. I don't know why I'm saying this repeatedly. I said, nobody will die and leave you in confusion. I said, nobody will die and leave you in confusion. I don't know why I'm praying this. But I prayed from my heart for somebody. Nobody dies around you and leave confusion for you. In the name of Jesus. When this prophet died, he was a prophet. He was a prophet. He died and left problems. 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 I decree in the name of Jesus. Nobody dies and leave problems for you. I know what I'm talking about. I don't know why the Lord is hitting this again and again. I want to move out of this place. But the Lord is still leaving me there. He said, keep saying it. I pray for you. A woman here watching me, your son will not die. Your son is married. They want to attack your son. They want to attack your son. They want to attack, I'm hearing health. They want to attack your son's health. And he's married. My God. He's married. I pray for that young man. I don't know why I'm seeing around 32, 32, 32 to 35. I'm seeing 32, I'm seeing 35. H. Ikala Matoba Yata. Zezama de Kodoba. I'm seeing 32, I'm seeing 35. I'm seeing 32, I'm seeing 35. I don't know why I'm seeing that's very strange. I'm seeing number 32, and I'm seeing 32 to like an hyphen to 35. That's the age of this young man. And he's married. Kataba. Woman, your son will not die and leave problems for you. I don't know who this person is. I don't know who this person is. Jesus intervene. Jesus intervene. Everybody share this broadcast. Share this broadcast. Nobody dies around you and leave problems for you. I don't know. This prayer is a very strong prayer. I have seen families. I have seen people die and leave problems. Leave court case. Leave battles. In fact, there are people after hospital bills, after they die, they'll begin to pay hospital bills for the dead. Ah! In the name of Jesus. This is spiritual. This is spiritual. I don't know why the Lord is hammering this on my, in my spirit. Nobody will die and leave problems for you. Hey! Your wife will not die and leave questions for you. My God, my God, my God. Your wife will not die and leave questions for you. Your husband will not die and leave questions for you. Share this broadcast 10 times. This is strong. I say your husband will not die and leave family questions to you. My God. I said they will not ask you questions. Woman, they will not ask you questions. Woman, they will not ask you questions. Grandmother, they will not ask you questions. I don't know why this word is coming like this. It's not in my sermon notes, but this word is strong. 
I said that we, you know, till we happen evil around you that we make them begin to question you. Every spirit of polygamy, every spirit of polygamy that wants to bring problems for you. I don't understand this kind of prayer, this kind of words I'm hearing tonight. Every spirit of polygamy that wants to bring problems for you later, I decree in the name of Jesus, such problems scatter in the name of Jesus. There are some women today, they are suffering from polygamy spirits. I will explain. The man was once married. Now, married to you. Now, something then happened. And now they are accusing you. I decree it's not your portion. In the name of Jesus. He that has ear, let him hear. Please. Take this prayer very serious. My children will not die in my hands and leave questions to me. Ah, Jesus. My children will not die in my hands and leave questions on ground. Take a pose of Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, the man of God was a debtor and died a debtor. And left debt for the wife. The only thing the wife now had to console herself were her children. But the man used the children as a collateral. What a good man. Let me not just say something negative. I wonder what kind of father is that that we use the children for collateral. That is a spirit. If there's one thing I fight, is the spirit of death. I fight it with everything. I do my best not to owe anybody. And that's why I do my best not to live above, above my means. If I don't have it, I don't have it. I will not stress myself for it. Some of you want to kill yourself to impress people. Please, you can't impress everybody. You can't please everybody. God, child of God, obedience to instructions restores glories. There are people today, a man of God will tell them, do this. They will refuse. But a native doctor will tell them, a, 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 a jumping, jumping man wearing white by the river will tell them, they will take it. Listen to me. Obedience restores glory. Obedience restores glory. I expected the man of God to say this and this, but he told her, go and borrow. How can you tell me go and borrow when it was borrowing that killed my husband? How can you tell me go and borrow? If I said borrow not a few, listen, instruction from a prophet is more than enough. Listen, you don't live life by logic. You don't need to be logical when it comes to spiritual things. The man of God told her, go and borrow. It doesn't matter if you failed before. This time, you will not fail. Somebody say, I will not fail. Somebody type it, I will not fail. Somebody type it, I will not fail. He am a child of God. If you have failed before now, you will not fail again. If you have failed before now, you will not fail again. Whatever that made you fail before now, I say you will not fail again. If you can type it, it is prophetic. I say you will not fail again. If you have failed before now, you will not fail again. Now, what is one confession I can never stop confessing? I cannot fail because God cannot fail. For me to fail, 
God has to fail. And since God cannot fail, don't expect me to fail. Can we say it together? Can we confess it? And you can type it on the comment section. Say, I cannot fail because God cannot fail. Since God cannot fail, let no one expect me to fail. Somebody type that comment I just made now. It's a prophetic statement. You can keep telling it to yourself. I cannot fail because God cannot fail. For me to fail, God has to fail. And if God cannot fail, let no man expect me to fail. Can we take it again? Say, I cannot fail because God cannot fail. For me to fail, God has to fail. And since God cannot fail, let no one expect me to fail. Listen to me, child of God, when I was starting the war room, people were waiting for me to fail. And me, I was waiting for, waiting for them to see God fail. When you are waiting for Ambassador Fred to fail, wait for God to fail. Come on, somebody. If you are waiting for, oh my God, Harry Matthews, Harry Matthews, don't joke with this statement. Let it be your daily confession. Harry Matthews, let it be your daily confession. I know people are waiting for me to fail and me are waiting for God to fail. And if God cannot fail, then don't expect me to fail. Hallelujah. The man of God understood that what killed the husband was death. But he said, let us settle this matter. Let us disgrace the spirit of borrowing. The Bible said, he told her, borrow not a few. And all of a sudden, the woman went to borrow. As she borrowed, he gave her what? Instruction. One of the major keys that makes glory to be restored speedily is when you follow instruction. Instruction is the mother of manifestation. When preparation jumps with instruction, manifestation is very sure. Hallelujah. When the man of God told the woman, and he said to her, go and borrow, the woman said, in her heart, I believe. This man, did you not hear what I said? My husband died borrowing. In fact, he died a debtor. It may not make sense, but it can save life. Disobedience is a glory killer. Disobedience is a what? Glory killer. Glories can be cut short. The disobedience of Samson made him die before his time. Nothing makes people expire before their time like disobedience. Hallelujah. As soon as she obeyed the instruction, there was a restoration. There is an instruction you must follow that can bring the restoration of your glory back. Hallelujah. There are three things I wrote here. I'm going to share them very quickly and we close. I hope you have been blessed. Praise God. Number one is obedience. If you want your glory to be restored, your lost glory to be restored, you must be obedient. Number two, mercy. Number three, prayer. I'm going to be explaining the one after the other. The Bible said in Job 36 verse 11, Job 36 11, Job 36, 11. Hallelujah. Can we have it on the screen? Job 36, 11. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, I receive grace to obey. Job 36, 11. I receive grace to obey. Praise God. Job 36, Verse 11. I receive grace to obey. The Bible says, If they 
obey and serve. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. That is to say, if you refuse to obey, you will spend your days in poverty. If you refuse to obey, you will spend your years under pressure. Can I say that again? If you refuse to obey, you will spend your life and destiny in poverty. And if you refuse to obey, you will not spend your years in pleasure, but in pressure. So one thing that makes prosperity, the glory of prosperity stay with a man or woman is what? Obedience. You will you can enjoy life to the fullest when obedience is in place. Number two, key of obedience that brings restoration is mercy. Psalms chapter 51, verse 12 to 14. Psalms 51, 12 to 14. Hallelujah. I pray for somebody. By the mercies of God, your glory shall be restored. I say, by the mercies of God, your glory shall be restored. By the mercies of God, your glory shall be restored. Psalms chapter 51, verses 12 to 14. Hallelujah. Can I have that on the screen? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my father. Psalms 51, verses number 12 to 14. The Bible says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. When glory is no more, happiness, joy is scarce. But when mercy is in play, there is restoration. He said, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. When glory is lacking, your spirit, you can't enjoy the free spirit. The Bible is talking about it. Verse 13, then I will teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Verse 14, deliver me from blood and um, blood guiltiness. O God, thou God of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. Listen to me. The mercy of God is one thing that causes glory to attend to you. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 10, verse 47. Mark 10, 47. Mark 10, 47. The Bible talks there about blind Bartimaeus. When he was crying, Jesus was the Lord of glory. And all of a sudden, he heard Jesus was passing. He began to cry. He began to cry. When you cry out for mercy, glory gives you, pays attention to you. Glory re is restored. Hallelujah. Mark 10, verse 27. Then number three, thing that restores glory is prayer. Prayer restores glory. Judges about 16, verse 28. Judges 16, 28. Judges 16, 28. Talks about Samson. Samson, his glory was shaved off. The glory of God is the uniqueness in every man. The glory of God is the strength in every man. Because the glory of God is the weight of God. So the God's weight was upon Samson, but there was an instruction. He disobeyed to follow instruction and he lost the glory. He lost the glory. But something happened in Judges chapter 16, verse 28. The Bible says, and, and he prayed. And what? And Samson prayed. One thing that can restore glory quick and fast is prayer. Is prayer. Number two, we see the account of Jabez. First Chronicles chapter number four, 
verses 9 to 10. First Chronicles chapter number 4, verses 9 to 10. I need you to read all the scriptures, letter, and pray with it. Hallelujah. The young man called Jabez was born in sorrow. And all of a sudden, he, he, he cried out one day, and his glory was restored. Listen to me. When glory is restored, your lost years are gained back cheaply. When glory is restored, when your glory is restored, all the years you have lost, it comes back to you cheaply. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Glory, it, when the glory of God is upon a man, he catches up with time. He catches up with time. It's never left behind. It's never left in life. Why? Because glory is at work. The Bible says in the book of Joel, chapter 2, Joel 2, verses 25 to 27, it says, I will restore back all the years. Joel, chapter number 2, 25 to 27. Joel 2, 25 to 27. It says, I will restore the years. I will restore the years. Glory is a restorer of years. And we are going to take this last prayer before we go. We are going to say, oh, Lord, by your glory, restore the years I have lost. There are some of you, some of you today, you have lost so many things. But the glory of God is a restorer. The glory of God is a restorer. I don't know what you have lost. I don't know what you have, you have, you have missing. But I say by the message of God, I say your glory shall be restored. Your glory shall be restored. Your glory shall be restored. The Bible said, I did not write the Bible. God spoke this to his servant, Joel, and he wrote, he said, I will restore to you, to you that is watching me. Somebody type, my glory is restored. Go ahead and type, my glory is restored. Go ahead and type on the comment section, my glory is restored. When I tell you to type, it is prophetic. I decree your glory is restored. As you type it, your glory is restored. He said, I will restore to you the years, the years that the locust has eaten and the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And he went on and on. He said, he will restore back. Verse 27, he said, and ye shall know that I am the Lord thy, thy God and no one and not else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Like I said, when glory is restored, shame is far. Shame is far. Shame is far. When your glory is restored, you cannot be put to shame. It doesn't matter how many people want to fight you. Your glory is more than enough. I pray for someone tonight. By the mercies of God, your glory is restored. Your family glory is restored. Anyone has cried against your glory by the mercies of God, by the spirit of God, I decree your glory is restored. Your glory is restored. Somebody congratulations because your glory has been restored. I say your glory has been restored. Now, let me say this to you. Your business carries glory. Your life carries glory. You as an individual carries glory. So it is the glory of God that drags attention, that brings attention, the glory of God. So I pray for you. That glory that we announce you, that glory that we take your message to those that need it, that glory that we take your product to those that may need it, that glory that we shine upon your book, Harry Matthew, that glory that we send your book to where it needs to be, that glory that we take your book that we take your name to those that need that book. I pray for you, Harry Matthew. That glory that brings on honorum, I decree, may that glory work for you, Harry Matthew, in the name of Jesus. I pray for him, Ola Emmanuel, the glory you need 
for your interview. May that glory come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree on the seventh day of this month, between now and the eighth, may God put a testimony in your mouth. May the glory of God pull out your visa. May the glory of God pull out your documents. May the glory of God pull out your papers. Wherever you are watching me from, anyone trusting God for documents, may the glory of God cause an approval in your life. May the glory of God cause an approval in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for everyone. May the glory of God take over your battles. May the glory of God take over your battles. In the name of Jesus, I decree everyone will see the glory of God in your life. When people see you from now, they will see the glory of God. When people see you from now, they will see the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, God bless you so much. Thank you for being a part of today's broadcast. The Lord bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate everyone that has been a part of this broadcast today. The Lord bless you. Today is a day uh, four of this broadcast. So tomorrow is day five. Join me tomorrow, Saturday. Make sure you are part of it. Invite people. We can be better than this number if we can invite people. The Lord bless you all. I decree it is well with you. I decree the glory of God is restored in your life through obedience in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree what you do, the glory of God, we announce it in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we thank you. Stella Johnson, the Lord bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Stella Johnson, the Lord bless you. Stella Johnson, whatever that was done to you at teenage, when you were a teenager, anything that was done to you when you were a child, by the power of God's glory, I undo it. Whoever that has cried against your glory, Stella Johnson, Stella Johnson, whatever that was done to you when you were little, I speak. Thank you, Lord. I don't know why I'm hearing this in my ears. Speak as a seer. Speak as a seer. Speak as a seer. I just heard that in my spirit. I decree. Whatever that was done to you as a child, growing up, anyone that spoke that cried against your glory in the name of Jesus, it returned to it returned to the sender in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Whatever that was done to you at childbirth, it is undone now. Receive the glory of God. The glory that brings settlement. Hmm. The glory that brings settlement, may that glory appear in your life, Stella Johnson. Your season has come, Stella Johnson. The glory of God will bring out your season in the name of Jesus. Congratulations, Ola Emmanuel. Congratulations. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God bless everyone. Please. I want to um, talk to everyone again. I still need a bag of rice for feeding the beggars this weekend. So if God is leading you to be a part of it, please give me a call. Give me a call. The Lord bless you. I told us the bag of rice is about 28,000 naira. So I want us to get it. I want us to get it. Praise God. You can be a part of it. You can be a part of it. The Lord will bless you as you be a part of it in the mighty name of Jesus. There are certain things you may not know why you are doing it, but the Bible says, cast your bread upon many waters after many days you shall find it. I'm telling you, 
this feeding these beggars have been blessed. It's been a blessing to my life. It has been a blessing to my life. And I must confess, God has truly been faithful. God has truly been faithful. I pray in the name of Jesus. May you see the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everyone that gives, everyone that has given, everyone that will give. I pray, may you see the hand of God's favor. May you see God's financial hand. As this ministry see your financial hand through giving, may you see heaven's financial hand in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree heaven's best shall be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 I decree, may God do for you what you cannot do for yourself. In Jesus' potent name we pray. God bless you. God bless you all as you give. God bless you in hand, Benedita. God bless you. You will never lack. You will never lack. In hand, Benedita, you will never lack. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will never lack. God bless you all. God bless you all. I decree this well with you all in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless Pastor Asamo Moses. Today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Pastor Asamo Moses. We wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday, man of God. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you all. Is one of us, Pastor, Pastor Asamo Moses. That's his name. Please, let's all celebrate him. Happy birthday, man of God. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, sir. Happy birthday. Lord God Almighty, bless you and do for you what you cannot do for yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Thank you for tonight. I believe tonight was your night, is your night. And I decree as you invite people to this platform, the Lord will bless you. Thank you so much for being a part of tonight. The Lord bless you. The Lord be gracious to you. And may you never lack God's favor in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Don't forget, you cannot fail because God cannot fail. For you to fail, God has to fail. And since God cannot fail, let no one expect you to fail. Anyone waiting for you to fail is waiting for God to fail. Shalom. God bless you. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet friendship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and about us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you, Pastor Asamo Moses. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, sir. Happy birthday, sir. Happy birthday. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. God bless you all. Shalom. See you tomorrow.